Welcome to ReneeEnergy.com on YouTube, the hub for all things renewable energy and sustainability. Our channel is dedicated to bringing you the latest innovations and insights in green energy, including cutting-edge developments like green hydrogen. Whether you're a sustainability veteran or just beginning your journey, we have something for everyone. Join us on this channel to explore inspiring projects for a sustainable tomorrow. We bring you the latest in renewable energy, sustainability, and cutting-edge technologies. And don't forget, for more in-depth information and resources, visit our website and subscribe to our newsletter for the latest updates and exclusive content. Hello and welcome back to Exploring the World of Biohydrogen, Nature's Solution to Clean Energy, brought to you by ReneeEnergy.com. In our last episode, we introduced you to the fascinating world of biohydrogen and the incredible potential it holds as a clean energy solution. In this episode, we'll be taking a deep dive into the various methods and technologies used in biohydrogen production, exploring the fundamental principles, current research, and future directions of this exciting field. At its core, biohydrogen production is a process that harnesses the metabolic capabilities of microorganisms to convert organic materials into hydrogen gas. This process can be broadly classified into two main categories, dark fermentation and photofermentation. Dark fermentation is a type of anaerobic digestion that relies on the ability of certain bacteria, such as Clostridium and Thermotoga, to break down organic substrates in the absence of oxygen. During this process, the bacteria produce hydrogen gas as a byproduct of their metabolism, along with other compounds such as carbon dioxide and organic acids. The key steps involved in dark fermentation include 1. Feedstock preparation, organic materials, such as agricultural waste, food scraps, or wastewater, are pre-treated to break down complex compounds into simpler, more easily digestible forms. 2. Inoculation. The pre-treated feedstock is inoculated with a carefully selected consortium of anaerobic bacteria, chosen for their ability to efficiently produce hydrogen. 3. Fermentation. The inoculated feedstock is incubated under controlled conditions, typically at temperatures between 30 to 80 degrees Celsius and at a neutral pH, to allow the bacteria to grow and produce hydrogen. 4. Gas separation, the resulting biogas, which contains a mixture of hydrogen, carbon dioxide, and other gases, is separated and purified to obtain high-quality hydrogen. Current research in dark fermentation focuses on optimizing the process through strategies such as 1. Genetic engineering of bacterial strains to enhance hydrogen production and substrate utilization. 2. Co-culturing of multiple bacterial species to create synergistic consortia with improved performance. 3. Development of advanced bioreactor designs that allow for better control over key parameters and enhanced mass transfer. 4. Exploration of novel feedstocks and pretreatment methods to maximize hydrogen yields and reduce costs. In contrast to dark fermentation, photofermentation is a process that relies on the ability of photosynthetic bacteria, such as purple non-sulfur bacteria, to convert organic acids into hydrogen gas using energy from sunlight. This process occurs under anaerobic conditions and requires the presence of an organic electron donor, such as acetate or lactate. The key steps involved in photofermentation include 1. Feedstock preparation, organic acids, which can be derived from the effluent of dark fermentation processes or other sources, are conditioned to the appropriate concentration and composition for the photosynthetic bacteria. 2. Inoculation, the prepared feedstock is inoculated with a culture of photosynthetic bacteria, typically a species of purple non-sulfur bacteria such as Rhodobacter spheroid. 3. Photofermentation. The inoculated feedstock is incubated under anaerobic conditions and exposed to light, which provides the energy needed for the bacteria to convert the organic acids into hydrogen gas. 4. Gas separation. The resulting biogas, which primarily contains hydrogen and carbon dioxide, is separated and purified to obtain high-quality hydrogen. Current research in photofermentation aims to address some of the key challenges facing this technology, including 1. Improving light utilization efficiency through the development of advanced photobioreactor designs and light delivery systems. 2. Enhancing the hydrogen production capacity of photosynthetic bacteria through genetic engineering and metabolic pathway optimization. 3. Exploring the use of alternative electron donors and strategies for integrating photofermentation with other biohydrogen production methods. 4. Investigating the potential for scaling up photofermentation systems and improving their economic viability. In addition to dark fermentation and photofermentation, there are several other methods of biohydrogen production that have garnered attention in recent years. One such method is direct biophotolysis, which involves the use of microalgae, 
such as Chlamydomonas reinhardt, to split water molecules into hydrogen and oxygen using energy from sunlight. The key steps in direct biophotolysis include 1. Algal cultivation. Microalgae are grown in photobioreactors under carefully controlled conditions, including optimal light intensity, temperature, and nutrient supply. 2. Sulfur deprivation. To induce hydrogen production, the microalgae are subjected to sulfur deprivation, which triggers a metabolic shift towards the expression of hydrogenase enzymes. 3. Hydrogen production. Under anaerobic conditions and in the presence of light, the microalgae use the hydrogenase enzymes to split water molecules, releasing hydrogen gas as a byproduct. 4. Gas separation. The resulting biogas, which contains a mixture of hydrogen and oxygen, is separated and purified to obtain high-quality hydrogen. Current research in direct biophotolysis focuses on overcoming the key challenges associated with this method, such as 1. Improving the oxygen tolerance of hydrogenase enzymes through genetic engineering and directed evolution. 2. Developing advanced photobioreactor designs that optimize light distribution and gas exchange. 3. Exploring strategies for integrating direct biophotolysis with other biohydrogen production methods, such as dark fermentation or photofermentation. 4. Investigating the potential for scaling up direct biophotolysis systems and improving their economic viability. Another promising approach to biohydrogen production is the use of microbial electrolysis cells MEX. In this method, bacteria oxidize organic compounds and transfer the electrons to an anode, which then flow through an external circuit to a cathode, where they combine with protons to form hydrogen gas. The key steps involved in MEX-based biohydrogen production include 1. Feedstock preparation Organic materials, such as wastewater or other renewable sources, are conditioned to the appropriate composition and concentration for the bacterial community in the mech. 2. Bacterial oxidation. The bacteria in the anode chamber of the mech oxidize the organic compounds, releasing electrons and protons. 3. Electron transfer. The electrons flow through an external circuit to the cathode, while the protons migrate through a proton exchange membrane. 4. Hydrogen production. At the cathode, the electrons and protons combine to form hydrogen gas, which is collected and purified. Current research in mech-based biohydrogen production aims to address the challenges and limitations of this technology, including 1. Optimizing the design and materials used in mechs to improve efficiency and reduce costs. 2. Exploring the use of novel bacterial communities and feedstocks to enhance hydrogen production rates. 3. Investigating strategies for integrating MEX with other biohydrogen production methods or renewable energy technologies. 4. Assessing the scalability and economic viability of MEC based biohydrogen production. As the field of biohydrogen production continues to evolve, researchers are increasingly exploring the potential for combining multiple methods into hybrid systems that leverage the strengths of each approach. For example, a hybrid system might use dark fermentation to break down complex organic materials into simpler compounds, which can then be fed to a photofermentation or mech-based system for further hydrogen production. The development of these hybrid systems is driven by the recognition that no single biohydrogen production method is likely to be sufficient on its own to meet the growing demand for clean energy. By integrating multiple approaches, researchers hope to create more efficient, flexible, and scalable systems that can adapt to a wide range of feedstocks and operating conditions. However, the path to commercialization of biohydrogen technologies is not without its challenges. In addition to the technical hurdles that must be overcome, there are also significant economic, policy, and social barriers that need to be addressed. One of the key economic challenges is the current cost of biohydrogen production, which is still higher than that of fossil fuel-based hydrogen or other renewable hydrogen technologies. To become competitive, biohydrogen systems will need to achieve significant improvements in efficiency, productivity, and scalability, while also reducing capital and operating costs. From a policy perspective, there is a need for greater government support and incentives to encourage the development and deployment of biohydrogen technologies. This could include measures such as tax credits, research and development funding, and the establishment of clear standards and regulations for biohydrogen production and use. Finally, there is a need for greater public awareness and acceptance of biohydrogen as a clean energy solution. This will require ongoing education and outreach efforts to highlight the environmental and economic benefits of biohydrogen, as well as to address any concerns or misconceptions that may exist around the technology. Despite these challenges, the future of biohydrogen production is bright. With continued research and development, growing investment and policy support, and increasing public engagement, 
biohydrogen has the potential to become a key player in the transition to a more sustainable and low carbon energy future. As we've seen throughout this episode, the methods and technologies involved in biohydrogen production are diverse, complex, and constantly evolving. From dark fermentation and photofermentation to direct biophotolysis and microbial electrolysis cells, researchers are exploring a wide range of approaches to harness the power of microorganisms for clean hydrogen production. By understanding the fundamental principles behind each of these methods, as well as the current state of research and the key challenges and opportunities that lie ahead, we can begin to appreciate the incredible potential of biohydrogen as a nature-based solution to our energy needs. So, there you have it, a comprehensive guide to the methods and technologies of biohydrogen production, from first principles to future prospects. We hope that this episode has given you a deeper understanding and appreciation of this fascinating field, and has inspired you to learn more about the role that biohydrogen can play in building a cleaner, greener, and more sustainable world. Don't forget to like and share this video, and subscribe to ReneeEnergy.com for more cutting-edge content on the latest developments in renewable energy. And stay tuned for our next episode, where we'll be exploring the real-world applications and potential impacts of biohydrogen technology. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on Exploring the World of Biohydrogen, Nature's Solution to Clean Energy. Thanks for tuning into the ReneeEnergy.com YouTube channel. We trust you found this episode enlightening and motivating. There's a world of innovation and opportunity in sustainable energy, and we're delighted to share this journey with you. Stay in the loop with the latest on renewable energy and sustainability by visiting our website and subscribing to our newsletter. Your support is immensely appreciated, it's truly invaluable to us. Don't miss our next video on new trends in renewable energy. Follow us on social media for the latest updates. Enjoy the video? Like, subscribe, and share for more green insights. Thanks for watching.